Google's anti-gravity is an agent-first AI IDE that's powered by Gemini 3 that can automate coding and many other tasks that you probably didn't even know about. It's a remarkable tool, especially considering that it's completely free and that it gives you access to state-of-the-art models and delivers a genuinely capable agentic development environment that's packed with so many features. But here's the main problem. Most people are using anti-gravity completely wrong. They connect a single tool, write a vague prompt, and then they wonder why the agent feels average. Or worse, they don't even realize what anti-gravity is actually capable of doing. For example, did you know that anti-gravity can be used not to just generate data, but to directly manipulate the data inside Google Sheets using your browser integration? That means that you can automate data entry, clean data sets, update rows, and handle repetitive workflows entirely hands-free. And the best part is, is that this setup is completely free and can practically automate tasks most people still do manually every single day. In this video, I'm going to showcase how you can use anti-gravity better than 99% of people by treating it like what it actually is, a multi-agent system with real context, real skills, and real workflows. Most people are scratching the surface, so let's fix that by diving into this. To get started, it is super simple. If you do not have anti-gravity, you can install it for whatever operating system you have, whether that's Mac OS, Windows, or Linux. After installing, you're going to be then greeted with this main dashboard of anti-gravity. You can get started by opening up your previous code repository, or you can simply clone a repository directly from GitHub. You have the option to either use the agents on the right-hand panel, where you can use state-of-the-art models like Gemini 3 Pro and even Sonnet 4.5 and Opus. You can use two different modes, planning and fast. Planning is to obviously develop a complex task list for the agent to follow through with. And then you have the fast mode, which will be executing your tasks based off of the context or the prompt that you provided. You have the ability to attach files and you can even use your voice to generate things. Every affiliate marketer knows the frustration, unstable connections, unreliable IPs, and campaigns that get interrupted or underperform because of poor proxy quality. It wastes time, money, and momentum when you're trying to scale. And that's why I switched to Node Maven, my go-to for high quality residential, mobile, and ISP proxies for marketers and teams. They deliver stable, clean connection with advanced IP filtering, so your workflow runs smoother. The reliability difference compared to cheaper proxies has been huge. What really sold me is the rock solid guarantees. If a proxy fails, they credit your balance one euro. Not satisfied with that? Same day refunds. Price match better deals plus $150 plus of premium features included for free. So if you're ready for more reliable proxies, check out the link in the description below and use the code there, which will get you 50% off of your first purchase or world 100 to double your traffic allowance. Thanks to Node Maven for sponsoring today's video. But with that thought, let's dive right back into today's upload. But another way you can actually interact with agents to practically automate things as well as orchestrating multiple agents is with the agent manager. This is a remarkable tool that not a lot of us are actually utilizing properly. You can use the agent manager where you can define who does what. You can deploy multiple agents, deploy them in multiple workspaces, and essentially you can deploy them to work on specific roles like coding, reviewing, researching, and so much more. Just take a look at the agent manager in action where it spun up the right agents automatically after a prompt was given to it. One agent was able to crawl the website to extract fonts, logos, and color palettes. Another agent compiled those specs into a clean onboarding walkthrough. And the next agent was able to draft the welcome email directly in Gmail. So you can see that it's able to do a lot of these different actions asynchronously, and it's able to get your tasks done fully automated. From the agent manager, it's able to go over to the websites that you tell it to go to, head over to a Gmail inbox, and straight up write up an email. This is why the agent manager is such a big deal, because it's not just a settings panel. It's a system that lets anti-gravity coordinate multiple agents, each with a clear role, shared context, and the right tools, all working together end to end. Here's my own example of using anti-gravity's agent manager, where it ran a full audit of my site in the world of AI. And this is against my local code base, and it found a complete disconnect. The site is live on Beehive, but my local repo is actually empty, which is something that it is actually true. 
it is also not just stopping there because it automatically generated a CSV of all the features with implementation statuses and a markdown summary with gaps and recommendations. This is why Anti-Gravity isn't just an IDE, it's a full automation platform which lets you deploy multiple agents and orchestrate them to do almost anything like crawling, analyzing, doing deep research, or even having it work on becoming a full stack developer. Now, one thing that you should 100% do is if you are within Anti-Gravity, make sure you click this Chrome button because if you are to set up the browser with the agent, it's going to be able to actually use the agent as a tool to help you automate browser-based tasks. So in this case, I simply had requested it to scrape this Cloud Docs website and it is going to be able to export the content in Markdown for me. And what's nice is that you can actually get a playback of what it had done through its session and you can see this playback directly within the editor itself and right now you can see that it has scraped all the contents off of that web page now another remarkable thing that you can do within anti-gravity is generate a gemini md and a skills md the gemini md is like a blueprint for your agent and the skills md is a list of tools and actions that your agents can use now you have two options you can either write down your own blueprint and skills or you can just have the ai write it down now you can select the best model like gemini 3 pro for this and you can actually have it plan it out as well for a deeper context and actual descriptive analysis of what your prompt is but in my opinion i am going to be just using the fast mode to help me create this blueprint for the gemini md and the skills md where it is going to help me generate a list of all the tools for skills that it can actually use for my prompt and the blueprint that will define the agent's personality, goals, and behavior specifically for this app that I'm trying to create. And that's the beauty of Anti-Gravity because you can practically do anything. In this case, I'm building a full stack app that is a finance app that helps me manage my income, my stocks, my investment, as well as automating the process of data entry, summarizing my calculations, uploading receipts, that could be actually fully automated with the process of using vision models to help me transcribe my images and have it inputted into my dashboard. And you can see that it is going to then develop my blueprint within the Gemini MD file, and then it will create the skills to do list of what sort of tools as well as actions and capabilities the agent can use in this app. And not just that, when you're using the planning agent as well for deeper analysis, it is going to also help you create and visualize a task list of all of the things that the Gemini agent is capable of working upon. So within this implementation plan, you can see that there is a task list of what it has accomplished and what it's actually working on live in action. And this way you get a better visualization of the agents working in the background. And I just simply requested it to create an in-depth process of how it will accomplish this task. And you can see that it is able to create this implementation plan that my agents can actually reference. And you can see that it does a great job in thoroughly outputting the process of what it's gonna be accomplishing. And it even helps you visualize like the architecture using magic charts, and it will also build out an execution strategy for you. And afterwards, you can easily just tell the agent to accomplish the task that you're working on using the implementation plan. And you can see that it is working thoroughly to generate the code for our app and all the components that we had requested. One tip I would also recommend is that you really want to be descriptive with your prompt. And if you do not know how to write prompts, I highly recommend that you use AI itself to help you develop the, what you're basically looking for. Because if you want a beautiful functional UI with your app, you want to be as descriptive as possible where you need to describe that this front end needs to be developed like you are a full stack front end builder for a reputable company. And when you specify these things, the model is able to actually work on generating really great content. And you can see uh, from the prompt that I actually sent in for this specific demo. But just take a look at the quality of output of what Anti-Gravity was capable of doing due to my prompting, obviously, but mostly because of the agent working autonomously and prototyping this finance app for me. This is a beautiful app that it created. The front end may lack a little bit, but one thing that I really love is that you can actually scan receipts by clicking on this button. Here is a demo where if I am to upload any sort of receipt, I can then commit it to the ledger, which will actually process that receipt, which has been just added, and it was able to actually transcribe it. This is a fully functional app that is able to process my receipts and it is able to display 
the receipt live in action directly on the main page. Obviously, I can prototype more, but this is just one iteration of what it was capable of generating. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Now, you probably already know about this, but what you can also do to enhance your agent to use other data sources as well is if you are to click on additional options, you can actually go ahead and add in MCP servers through the MCP store that Antigravity already has. And there is a list of multiple servers that you can integrate to supercharge your agent. And this is something that you can easily install directly by just clicking on something like Pinecone. And what you can do is just click on install and this will be directly added with an easy one-click install after providing your API key. And that way you have a data connection to Pinecone and that is something that your agent can actually utilize. For example, I have AirVive installed and it has all of these tools enabled for my agent to actually utilize so that it can actually have an additional knowledge here to process additional context through GitHub as well as Slack. Now, something that you can also do is add customization to your agent. This is essentially where you can add in different rules. And to access this, it is the same way as simply clicking on additional options and clicking on op, uh, customization. And over here, you're able to add specific rules that will guide your agent to perform a certain way. And you can add a specific workspace that you want the rules to be enabled to. And you can just specify that by typing in the name of that workspace. You can even add in different workflows, which are different saved uh, prompts that your agent can actually follow. You can add it globally or you can add it to a specific project. Lastly, artifacts is a remarkable feature directly within the playground as well as what you can access within the editor itself. This is where you can make anti-gravity feel transparent instead of just having it work on something without showcasing what it's working on. Instead of guessing what the agent is doing behind the scenes, artifacts is going to be that visualization that acts as a dynamic intermediary that is going to showcase what the files are doing, what the agents are actually updating, and it is going to actually showcase the agent plans, reasons, and how it executes these tasks. You can actually interact with the artifacts, which is a beautiful thing. You have the ability to make edits, steer the workflow in real time rather than just trusting a black box. And you can see that you're able to see what you can actually implement by adding tips and edits directly by highlighting a certain area of the app that it's actually trying to create. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it, guys, for today's video on Google's anti-gravity. There's a lot more to this, and it is something that I definitely recommend that you try out and see what you can actually accomplish with it. It's something that's free, so make the most out of it. And I'll leave all these links that I use in today's video in the description below. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go ahead and take a look at our second channel. Join the newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Positivity, and I will see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.